uh, placing 129th at Super Smash, Smash Con last weekend. That's right. And also does have a Kirby as a secondary yes, on already PG plays stats. Character. Yes, exactly. And Radish King now pulling out the DK. We're going to get it started right here on PS2, uh, as one would expect. And, yep, Danby already starting to rush down this big monkey. Yeah, this is going to be really, really interesting to start off with, because, of course, you know, Danby obviously knowing the character secondary um, means they are obviously going to be very, very familiar with how to play these characters, which right. is not something you're necessarily going to be seeing a lot from these, this low-tier event. Yes. You know, obviously, people are going to be just playing the characters for the fun of it. They don't necessarily main or secondary them. Not so in Danby's case. Yeah, this has definitely been a fight of like the back airs thus far, but Danby still having like great spacing with Kirby, incredible neutral, uh, has been doing a great job, and now the edge guard begins, and this is where DK really starts to falter. If you can put him in the blender on edge, uh, then things start getting really good. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, DK is just one of those characters that really just struggles from being a big boy. So, Ooh. and if you can just bully him like Danby has been doing there, then you are absolutely just going to keep him in that blender. You're going to keep him stuck. Yeah, that preemptive roll in actually is still able to punish uh, that laggy side B with a back air, but we're looking for the ding dong, and actually the delay forces the air dodge. That's a frame trap in half. Yeah, that was so well done by Radish King, actually, just waiting out. Yo, obviously went for the first one, but recognizing the air dodge and just saying, okay, I'm going to do it again. Yeah, exactly. Still trying to get some of these nares, and it's just the grab. Uh, you would think that DK is the one getting all these grabs, but right now it's Danby on the Kirby. Yeah, and once again, Danby just bullying this DK, but as we've seen, you know, as soon as Radish King can get in, that's when it starts to count. Right. But obviously DK, one of those characters, really does struggle off stage, yeah. and Danby is just capitalizing on that. I love all the stuff that Danby's doing. Okay, gets around that giant punch, and, and it means just all of it together, the moving parts, the trump on ledge, all of it was starting to work, and now just going for a bit of a fake out there. And that's the mix-up oh. with the re-grab. you got to be careful. That spike is there. So four different ways to spike you. Uh, and as good a Kirby uh, recovery is, you got to be careful. Yeah, Radish King just saying, okay, I recognize you, Danby. I'm going to plummet you down to the abyss, taking the lead for the first time in this set as well. So trying to capitalize as much, get as much free damage, just trying to space out those back ends. This is going to be a back throw from Danby, though, and put into an offstage situation. Ooh. And the downbeat as well, just going to take that stock away. Yeah, no matter how long you delay offstage, you cannot out, uh, out basically deny Kirby. Kirby has multiple jumps, is able to do whatever you want, and set up on ledge effectively. These F-Tilt, uh, they're starting to, uh, to actually put Radish King in a bit of a mix-up space, right? Like getting caught by some of this stuff, and now we have the potential for a giant punch from Kirby as well. Yeah, again, this is something else that makes Kirby actually a pretty strong guy. Oh, and not what? even going to finish the sentence. No. We're not even going to finish the sentence. That's so unfortunate for Radish King there. Just falling down, of course, DK. Oh my not God. got a good recovery. Yeah. It's not good. And you had no jump, and there's yeah. just no way, and you tried to get yourself out, but you just got caught in that downer, like a soft spike like yeah. that. Uh, it can really catch you off guard. And this is something, actually, we were going to talk about later, but this is a good opportunity, too. So, yeah. obviously, you know, a lot of these characters here, you know, and Kirby especially being almost at the forefront, not having, you know, Lotta Lotus is not having the best recovery. But you've got someone like Kirby who does have a good recovery and is able to do those kind of soft little spikes, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, is really going to punish a lot of these low tiers, yep. you know, meaning that they're just not going to come back. Yeah, exactly, right? These characters have cheese. Like, obviously, both of these characters have some cheese that they can do, but you cannot get out cheese, right? There's so much that could happen, and, and one mistake could easily lead to a stock being taken on either side. We know what the, what the potential of DK specifically is. Okay, damn me, already off to a strong start again, trying to go to those down as you see them just throwing them out constantly, trying to get this off spike, but Radish King is able to make it back and punish with too strong a free up airs, get so much damage put back on it, even up almost as quick as it was before. Right, tried to get for the cross up as well with the grab, and we're taking it to Smashville, which is a smaller stage, obviously really going to be good for, uh, for Radish King, I think, uh, just because you want to be able to cover as much space with those big arms as possible, but uh, these delays, these like long-lasting dash attacks, got to be careful, just barely going to kill off of that, and that's going to be a nice forward smash, good call up there for Radish King. Yeah, and Radish King again taking the lead here, but it's only a thin one as Dammy is able to punish that, take away the stock, only 17% as well, this is very, very even right now. Exactly, okay, now now that's an unsafe move on shield. Got to be able to punish that when Radish King can attack on a little bit of percent. Still a good lead here, but you know you can just get blown up out of nowhere. 
And Kirby with the inhale again, giving them access to the punch if they are given the opportunity to do so. He's been a very, very strong move, so Danby is able to find that opportunity. And Kirby as well, having a lot of moves that actually can confirm into it, like that down tilt there. If they are able to charge up that punch, get something like down tilt, that could be Radishy King stock gone. I completely agree, Smile. I mean, at this point, like, it really comes down to, like, who's got the out of shield options in this matchup? It is Kirby right now because, oh. yo, these air dodges getting called out hard, and Radish King is like, if it misses the first time, I'm just going to do it again. That's the second time now. Oh, and that sent them quite high there. Radish King really starting to walk away with this one. Only 6%. Danby just trying to find it this stock, but Magic King's not having it. DK off stage though, we saw what happened last time now. Yeah, no jump obviously now, so gotta be very, very precise with your up piece. Good high recovery, and now Danby just trying to figure out how to close this one out. Cannot stop the bleeding right now, 50% on their front. Yeah, Danby really needing to take this stock away, but Magic King is playing so good. The KO punch coming out, but Danby narrowly missing it, still surviving. Some of these clanks starting to rack up a potential for uh, Danby to take the lead yet again. Just needs one thing here, and that even the up throw is not going to be enough to take the stock. I mean, Small, we're just looking for anything at this point. The desperation is starting to set in. You could see Danby really just trying any move that the neutral air, the back is, but it's not Yo, happening. Yo, what? Oh my god, the armor says, I do not care. To see, okay, yeah, all right. Pink Puffle charging at me. I don't care. I do not care. I'm gonna throw my punch. I'm gonna eliminate that stock. I think they died at 70 there. Yeah. Oh my I, god. This is the this is the problem, right? Kirby's mad light. Yes. Obviously, DK has immense kill power just regardless. But we are going to a game three in our very first uh, set here. So this Kirby. is now getting a little bit closer to the wire. I loved uh, that Radish King was able to maintain that lead so effectively and just get the big call. They've been looking for this giant punch for so long. Yeah. Finally, it connects. Okay, so game three, and we are running it back to Pokemon Stadium 2. Obviously, something that, you know, we could recognize in the last game is that Vanish King did opt for a very small stage, you know, trying to just close the gap in hell like, between them, making sure that the moves, you know, weren't being, like, you know, sort of spaced out or anything by Danby. But here on Pokemon Stadium 2, again, it's a, you know, it's a slightly bigger stage, so it means Danby has got a bit more room to run around if they need to. But this is looking scary, but Vanish King able to make it back by the skin of their team there. Right, luckily the uh, the fact that they didn't take wasn't a death sentence for them, but nice. We're still getting some of these trades, and DK wins these trades easily. Yeah. So it's like that's a, a winning strat, but not at that point. You're just fishing for something crazy, and those spikes are not going to be enough to basically catch Danby off guard. Okay, and Danby again just trying to get as much free damage. Going for the forward smash there. Nearly okay. hits, but going to miss out. You see that the KO punch is charged up from Radish King as well. They are gonna just be looking for it. <laughs> Radish King is so is just so menacing. It's like the literally the lack of options is such a good uh, strategy in itself. Just making making sure that Danby fears uh, the DK punch, right? Like you have those options on lock, not just that, but others as well. And it makes Danby like basically put themselves out there in a more vulnerable space. Absolutely, and this is what makes those kind of moves so scary because they are intimidation you know, technique, you know, where you can just have it but not use it's your opponent to you know, respect it because they know that, okay, right, they do have it. Yeah. They could use it at any time, but I've got to make sure I don't get hit by that. Right, if you're Radishing, you want Danby to panic. You yes. want Danby to throw out something unsafe or something that can be easily beat by the armor, right, in just the same way. And Danby has been doing a great job of being safer, like playing more conservatively. And again, this stock lead shows it. Yeah, and again, good weight out there from Danby, recognizing that Radish King was going to do a bit more of an aggressive option to get back, but just spacing out. But okay. Finally, that stock is eliminated. Yeah, we're finally actually getting the punish on the up B, right? The Kirby up B, it, it's, it's what makes Kirby, like, not a zoner, but, like, it has that ability to kind of outspace and really punish uh, Radish King for something unruly. So we'll see if he's able to get something else here right now. Just getting the, yep, getting the <laughs> nail and then send off the side. Knows that this is edge guard time. Oh, that was so, so close there. This is looking very, very scary for Radish King. That's triple digits right now, and Danby's still hanging on to two stocks. 10%. See, DK can hit hard, but he's gonna be having to hit real, real hard right now if he wants to get back in this game. Yeah, and Danby's starting to fish for some of these uh, these tech options as well. Yep, the and Trump, it is the Trump back air, and yet again, we saw it in game one, the echoes of that reoccurring here in game number three. That's Danby with the win over Radish King.